Hello everyone, welcome. I am Stan Bertolut from Nitro Marketing. And as my accent does not indicate, I live in Princeton, New Jersey, where I advise organization on growth, marketing and sales alignment, and the transformative power of AI. Thank you very much for uh, joining us to this session today on ERPCM and the power of serious game business simulation. Uh, first off, let me know where you are streaming from. We would love to know where you are uh, watching and listening to us today. So use the comment panel uh, to just give us uh, information about your, your location. And as you do that, uh, let me introduce this session. Implementing an ERP solution constitutes a project which is so expensive, it can literally keep you awake at night. Designed to integrate the entire organization, ERP system breaks down silos, enhances productivity, and facilitates information sharing. Yet, the scope of this project is precisely what causes anxiety for, for leaders. And the key to success is user adoption. Business simulations have been used for years, from NASA's engineering team to war room and large corporation. Simulation, serious game, and role-playing exercises are unparalleled tool for engaging user and speeding up the onboarding process. And when it comes to ERP and SAP solution, ERP sim lead the field. So welcome uh, to the Nitro Marketer, Guy and Mihail. Thank you. Thank you for having me, hello. And I see we've got uh, Jorge calling uh, from uh, Portugal. Uh, thank you for thank you for being here. So let's uh, dive in. Uh, Guy, you are the CEO of Baton Simulation, which is a Montreal-based simulation company behind the ERP sim. And Michal, you are the project manager at King ICT, which is a software integrator based in Zagreb, Croatia. And you are a user of ERP sim. Guy, tell me. Why is it so difficult to roll out an ERP solution? Okay, well, it's a big question. Uh, we're amongst friends here. I looked at the uh, registers for this, and uh, I think we need to look at it from two perspectives. Uh, we need to think of the uh, of customers who are new to ERP, uh, with SAP and the partner ecosystem called Net New Accounts as well as customers who may be on the previous version of SAP and want to move to the new one. So if we take the net new customers, oftentimes the challenges are, well, they have legacy applications that may or may not meet their requirements, but tend to be very functionally oriented silo system. So the challenge is moving to an enterprise solution uh, is something entirely new. So. Uh, Big challenge here is technical, of course, but also the whole concept of ERP, understanding what an enterprise, what acting as an enterprise with real-time data feels like. For existing customers uh, who have already an ERP or SAP, uh, the challenge is slightly different. They've made a large investment and uh, I'll recall uh, a, a meeting, a very large chemical company in Europe already doing, you know, using SAP and then the CIO comes and we should move to the latest version. And the business people saying, you want to do ERP again? I, I remember the last time. Uh, I, I'm not excited by the idea. Okay. So the right. big challenge for existing account, for existing SAP is what's the value? What's the point? OK, mm -hmm. and uh, so very much an issue around value realization, value discovery and building a coalition. All right. We are, and we are going to talk about that. Uh, Michael, I'm, uh, I'm curious, as an integrator, what are the first things that you do to ensure the success of your projects? Well, well, basically, to expand on what uh, Guy has said, uh, it, it comes down to persuading the client that this is going to improve on their business. It essentially requires you to, to very carefully plan uh, to, to communicate what's going to be required, um, what the implementation entails, um, to have all the stakeholders on board with what you're about to do, 
uh, to have an extensively detailed project roadmap so that um, essentially everyone who is involved in the project is aware of what is to come. And then maybe as the overarching team, it would be change management that's going to ensure that, um, well, both you and, and the client can have uh, the best possible solution that, that you know, all, all of the gaps are bridged between um, what their current business needs are and then what it is that your software offers. So essentially the communication and coordination, I would say. All right, all right. Uh, I want to remind uh, everybody watching that you can use the chat panel to ask questions at any time. So feel free to uh, jump in the conversation. Let's make it interactive. And also remember that this session is being recorded. So you uh, will be able to share it with your colleague after, after uh, we end it today. Mm -hmm. Right. So uh, we see that. Uh, central to ERP success is change management and stakeholder alignment. Guy, can you elaborate on um, how SAP's ERP team aids in onboarding, particularly for those who are not uh, who are new to uh, an SAP ERP system, yep. and how it contributes to internal alignment? Yep. So uh, maybe a little bit of history here. Uh, the first version of ERP SIM uh, was developed at a university in Canada at HEC Montreal to, uh, for an MBA program to teach concepts of ERP. What does it mean to operate uh, with real time across you know, functions, uh, across processes? So ERP SIM was essentially built as a flight simulator that would allow people to run a company and, uh, and see for themselves what is the impact on business outcomes. Also, there is a competitive element, and this is absolutely critical to engagement. Not only in ERP SIM, in teams, you work in teams of four or five people, and you're running your own company, you're making decisions, leveraging a real live SAP system, but you're also competing against the other teams in the room in the same marketplace. So right. the comp so you have to act together and work together within uh, your team. So, and I'll show you later, but there may be someone handling sales, someone handling marketing, procurement, finance, and ERP is a team sport. It's not an individual activity, uh -huh. uh, yet all training is individual. It's extreme. So acting as a team and seeing how decisions get made across processes is, is a profound uh, learning experience for many people. Okay, says, so, okay, I understand what happens downstream and I understand what's happened upstream from me. Right. And this is where the human aspect. And interestingly, everyone in the simulation is using the same technology, but there will be a winning team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hard to blame the technology. Obviously, there has to be a human component if some teams perform better than others. And that is an experiential uh, thing that really uh, brings it home for people that hmm, it's not it's it's more than just installing software here, it's how people use it, you know. Okay. Uh, okay. The, uh, and and a final point about the competitive aspect is that uh, from personal experience, our solutions are used in sixty five countries every day. Okay, the most competitive people in most organization tend to be the senior managers, the executives. So That's, this works really yeah. well at high levels. OK. Well, somehow it's not really surprising, but yeah. <laughs> uh, Michael, uh, so my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong, is that you mostly use ERP SIM for onboarding new employees uh, to your organization and to show them what SAP is? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, primarily it is onboarding, but we also do use it to uh, to, to help introduce what SAP uh, is, what it can do to, to existing clients as well. Um, so in, in terms of onboarding, uh, it, it is very much, like he has said, a team game. Uh, so when, when introducing someone uh, who will be at some point, you know, becoming an SAP consultant, it helps to uh, sort of give them some insight into what SAP can do, what it looks like, so that they are 
sort of aware of what they will be working with. But then also on top of that, um, you get to see how they think. Uh, you get to see how they react in this type of a really fast-paced environment where they need to be making really quick decisions. You see how they work under pressure. And so it sort of gives you a very good idea of, of what you can expect and then what they can expect in, in a, a sort of a real life uh, scenario where they will have to be dealing with those types of issues, both in terms of business and, and in terms of working on an ERP. Um, and then having said that, uh, it, it is essentially the same when you hold that type of um, simulation for, for an existing client uh, where they either have already been using um, an old SAP ERP and then you are showing them what a, a Fiori interface uh, looks like. Uh, maybe it will help them with acceptance so that uh, when it's time to switch over to the new version of S4 uh, HANA SAP, uh, they will have a better understanding of, you know, it's, it is not as big of a deal as it seems, uh, perhaps to some. And then for the clients that have never experienced um, an SAP ERP or maybe an ERP in general, uh, it, of course, makes them feel more at home and, and mostly within minutes. So it, uh -huh. it relieves a lot of stress for a lot of people. Hmm. All right, all right. Well, I, I must say that um, I did have an experience uh, with ERP SIM. I, you know, I tried the tool, and really, two things struck me. Uh, first of all, the power of AI, uh, and we're going to, to talk about that soon. But uh, the new version of ERP SIM uh, integrate AI to guide uh, a user through the the simulation. Um, to suggest you know next step and tactics and that that was very powerful to me and uh the fact that this simulation is built on top of sap and provide an amazing use case for cross-department company function and you know i'm not an expert in sap but seeing this really struck me as super interesting for organization and and guy um you know how Easy would it be for you to do a demo of ERP SIM now? Can can you do that? Can you do a, a live demo? Absolutely, absolutely. If you allow me to share my screen, all right, okay. and uh, and let me know when you're sharing. I, I am sharing. Okay, so so, yeah. so what you're looking at here, we have more than one version of ERP SIM, and there's a lot of people um, listening in that may be familiar with our distribution scenario with water bottles. But over the years, we've built different versions that cover different process footprint from manufacturing, public sector, asset management, maintenance, and uh, actually for solutions for armed forces. But the one that I will show you that is be quickly becoming our most popular is we've added carbon emission tracking on top of our sustainable of our uh, distribution scenario. So if I go to my environment here. Let me know when you yeah, see so this the Fiori launch pad. So we are live here, right? This is exactly. A this is a live S4 HANA system. Uh, it is the sustainability scenario here uh, at the top where you're selling, you're a company that's distributing and selling energy drinks of different types. Remember I was talking about this is a team-based. So Fiori is a uh, role-based user interface. And in real life, the salesperson would see this row of tiles of Fiori apps and the marketing person would see the other one. But in our simulation, everyone is a super user. You get to see the other tiles and we encourage people to switch role. At the very top, it's Fiori apps that show the status of the simulation. And right now we are paused on day one of round two. If I look at the leaderboard, okay, uh, I'm team Z, I'm in last place right now. Team E and team X, or actually I'm in team E, are in first place. I'm in, so I can see the ranking here. Okay. If I click the sales overview, what I see here is standard SAP that obviously we've configured. What am I looking at here? Well, these are the products that I am selling. I'm selling three types of extreme uh, energy drinks, you know, and I've just launched a series of low locally sourced organic product, I think called the organic, you know, they sell, they cost me at higher price, they sell at a, you know, a, a slightly different price here. However, they may be demand. So what I'm looking at here is 
on day one, I have 211 units, you know, cases of this, five days of product left. I have 20 days of organic sets. I can see over time what I sold. I can see that my big seller has been organic Vienna Vivacity, which has been, you know, doing really well. And I look at this as, okay, where am I selling this? And if I look at my geospatial analytics, I can see if I uncheck the other ones here, I can see that my organic vivacity product is selling very well in Eastern Germany right now. Oh, so may, but it's not selling very well in the North and you know, what could I do? Well, in the simulation, I could talk to my marketing person and say, listen, could you organize a promotion, you know, in the North to push organic vivacity, okay? Mm -hmm. And I might talk, you know, my uh, my procurement person says, listen, I'm running low here. Can you order more? Because he's gonna be doing a promotion and I we need to make sure that we have enough inventory for organic vivacity. And right now we're, we're pretty low. So right. as a team, uh, I we have to coordinate our strategy uh, using the live SAP system. And the focus is to make profit, to generate profit, as much profit as we can. Right. And, and the this, change that you make in the simulation will actually change, you know, the sales and absolutely. in real time. In real absolutely. time in the game. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, ERP SIM is the engine behind. So when you lower your prices, for example, or you apply marketing, you might capture uh, demand in the marketplace mm -hmm. and capture it away from the other teams, okay, until they react because they're also making decisions. So you have constantly to use the analytics in a competitive environment to fine tune your decision making. And this is where machine learning can come into effect and AI. What we've done here is leveraging the business technology platform, we've configured you know, machine learning bots and machine learning algorithms, and we've configured them to provide very specific, specific decision support. So the algorithm look at what is going on, looks at all the data in the system and can make suggestions. For example, that your product Extreme Volt, I suggest you sell it at 5097. I says, okay, what am I selling at right now? Oh my God, I'm selling it at 65. And it's telling me that if I want to optimize my profit based on my inventory, you know, and if I select apply, it will do this. Wow. So this is an illustration of how machine learning in the context of ERP can augment the performance of human beings. Okay. So this is this is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So, but we went a step further. Okay. What we quickly realized is that with uh, conversational AI, generative AI, we have the ability now to change the way people interact with the system. And what we've built, okay, and what we've built on top of BTP, we can connect to any chat GBT and we're looking forward. Currently, we're looking, connecting to OpenAI. We will be connecting to Joule when it becomes available on BTP. But I can engage questions here. I, I could ask, you know, uh, you know what? I can't recall here. How do I, where can I purchase? How do I, uh, how do I, what is my current inventory? I forgot. And you just ask the question and pops out a, immediately the information. Mm -hmm. What we're discovering is that people don't want to read anymore. They want to engage with something. Okay. And it says, okay, I need to create purchase orders. I don't remember how to do that. Well, we can feed ChatGPT, and we're using the private version of ChatGPT. We control the information it accesses. So issues about ChatGPT surfing the web and coming up with weird answers, we control. And we say, okay, this is how you can do it. And we feed it the help, and we can connect on existing help 
that will guide people step by step. This is how you do your work. And this has helped that people will read because they initiated the conversation. So the power of generative AI, especially with combined with machine learning, is literally game changing. And ERP SIM is a great environment for, you know, I talked about ERP literacy, but there's a major need here as well for AI and ML literacy, for people understanding what is the art of the possible with right. this. Right. Wow. Okay. Fascinating. Um, are you done with the demo? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to turn to the audience to see if there are any questions. I don't see any questions. Feel free to ask your question. Um, thank you, Guy, for this uh, fascinating demo. Uh, Michael, AI is a burning topic, and uh, we saw a business use of AI here. Um, you know, I, I wonder how do you plan to use this new feature uh, with your clients? Uh, just to uh, go back to, to the simulation, uh, to, to just add something to uh, what has been shown. Uh, I mean, as, uh, as impressive as all of these features are, uh, we at King ICT have now been uh, holding these uh, simulations and facilitating these types of simulations in various workshops for uh, both for clients, new and existing. Um, and so on for, for around four years now. And uh, I think my favorite part of, of the entire experience is uh, to actually uh, have these teams of 20 people, you know, 20 people divided into smaller teams, and then uh, letting them actually on, to, on, on the system, uh, introducing what the possibilities are, and then seeing these seasoned veterans, you know, completely go at it within the first two or three minutes of playing. Just completely getting engaged, uh, starting, uh, well, uh, let, let's call it vigorous shout matches over what needs to be done and at what pace uh, in order to, to beat the other teams. And, and since it, it gets extremely competitive and, and it is a very learning experience, uh, they, they tend to get very into it very quickly. Mm -hmm. So at some point when you introduce machine learning to them, uh, it, it almost feels like using cheat codes. Uh, you know, it, it, it helps tremendously. And then on top of all of that, there is also the AI, which sort of helps bridge this gap uh, between uh, people's experience of what they expect, where they, they sort of expect for it to be uh, a glorified chatbot of some type. Uh -huh. But then they quickly get to see how they can utilize it to, to, to make it a learning experience, to make things easier and quicker quicker to use. Um, and, and now to go back to, to, to your question, uh, essentially we see it uh, as a stepping stone to, to uh, providing more context for, for ERP users, uh, for helping with uh, things like predictive analytics, uh, for helping out with automation and, you know, just strictly making business easier. So it is, it is here to stay. Uh, it is, well, in, in some ways, it has already become a mainstay in terms of IT. So we, we see it as the future. And, and yeah, in this way, we so, sort of help bring it closer to, to what people know and uh, how they perceive it. OK. Guy, I, I want to come back to the psychological impact of, of simulation. And I can tell you that, I mean, the short demo here that you did did not really do justice to the excitement of the simulation. Mm -hmm. uh, I can tell you that when I was playing, I was surprised at how competitive I immediately became. You know, I, I was managing my inventory, looking at the product prices. I wanted to beat my competition, even if it was a virtual competition. So that, you know, that really made me ask, what is the philosophy behind serious game in ERP sim? And, and if you can tell us about the impact of that uh, psychology, yeah. particularly in helping people accept change and actively participate in it. Yep. The, um, the, the most, uh, the big difference between simulations versus traditional system training is that simu simulations are a lot more holistic in the sense that you're using the software to achieve outcomes and business outcomes in the sense, as you were saying, you want to beat the competition, you want to generate more profit, you want to have the lowest carbon emission. 
And this is what provides meaning to your work. Uh, teaching people where to click and what to enter into a field is meaningless until you show the impact in the world. What impact am I having on mm -hmm. the enterprise? And this is the psychological about people want to find meaning in their work. And I have been around training all my life. When I discovered ERP SIM 10, you know, 10 years ago and it worked on ACC, it was a revelation because I, at last we could connect my action in the system to an outcome. I can see what I can contribute. I can see what my team together needs to contribute. So uh, simulations also are a bit like Swiss Army knives. You, it's not just learning how to do SAP. Uh, for example, our asset management scenario, we will encourage to mix uh, new employees with very experienced employees. Because not only do you, sh do you learn about the system, you're learning about best practices in business. Right. And, and the way we define competency in system uh, is still based on work from the 1970s. Like, can you click here? Can you execute the transaction? What if you execute the transaction perfectly, but you're making the wrong business decision? Mm -hmm. It's meaningless. Okay. So putting both together yeah. uh, is, is a very effective tool. Yeah, it makes sense. Absolutely. And, and a risk-free one. In a risk free way, exactly. You learn in this, you, if you, you can crash the plane as often as you want in the simulator, and there are no consequences. Okay. As people do, as people do at every workshop. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Michael and, and Guy, uh, I've got a question regarding the role of ERP uh, simulation in increasing sales for SAP partners. Mm -hmm. can, can you talk about that? Well, it's uh, <laughs> it wouldn't be so popular if it's you know this this is used. We have it available in eight languages. We have hundreds of people who are trying to be facilitator in this. And uh, let's face it, it, the to sell an ERP program, you need a coalition of business and IT. What better way to get the coalition going to get people to play together and share a common experience? And they themselves, on their own, discover the value and the alignment. Mm -hmm. And that has a huge impact on accelerating uh, the pipeline and the sales process, uh, as we see every day. Okay. So, uh, okay. and that is despite its effectiveness as a user adoption tool. Uh, we have a large uh, customer in the armed forces that's planning to roll out this to 20,000 uh, employees and soldiers. Okay. okay, because it shows what the future will be like, and it removes the fear that a new system may bring. Okay, they learn socially with colleagues, and it saves an enormous amount of time. Yeah, yeah. Michael, anything to add? Yeah, uh, I'd say whereas uh, a classic um, value proposition would be, you know, something that you present to a potential client in an infinite amount of slides this this is uh more of a three hour value proposition where they, they actually get engaged in every sense of the word so they they come out of it knowing almost fully well what what is to be expected you know of the system that they will at a, at a certain point uh be utilizing on a daily basis yeah. so yeah it, it is it is very good it is useful all right we are getting at the end of this uh, session. Uh, I've got a couple of announcements. First of all, you saw that the we have a QR code here that you can scan. Uh, you can also scan this big one here, and you will receive a coupon, a discount coupon for uh, the new ERP SIM on demand. And maybe, Guy, this is the perfect time for you to announce this new product, right? Exactly. Can you share my, my screen again? If it's, uh, not it's not shown. I think you need to share it again. Uh, okay, let me uh, give that. But essentially, what we've done is based on popular demand. People have been asking us for years. I love the experience here. Uh, could I get to guy to guy play more? Uh, I only played one role here. Is would there be a way for me to access this and share maybe play with colleagues? But, you know, so what we've done is 
we have built and we're about to launch a version of ERP SIM where you can play on your own with no instructor. You can schedule uh, access to the system at your convenience and you can either play on your own and you will have some of the machine learning bots that I showed on your team and you're getting playing against teams of bots a mastermind and average, you know, so there's a competition. But we also make it possible for you to invite three colleagues on the same team and have the same ERP SIM experience that we have with facilitator led, mm -hmm. except that it's your own. And what we've created is we've given a face to uh, ChatGPT, to generative AI, and Kira is acting as the digital virtual coach providing, showing you how to do things, answering questions. So the experience is also a way to see how AI, generative AI combined with machine learning can actually support users uh, in the live use of SAP with very simple logistics. And uh, Nitro Marketing, as you work with the global ecosystem, uh, you, you are the perfect channel here to, uh, to make this available to our global yeah. reseller model and i can add that we make it available at uh, 500 dollars mm -hmm. which is a pretty good price to get started in the world of business simulation and again if you scan this qr code you will get a discount so <laughs> this is a perfect perfect time to 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 start that so thank you thank you everyone before i let you go i just want to announce that nitro marketing uh uh, the Nitro Marketer uh, live session will uh, reconvene on Thursday, November 16. This time we'll talk about Notion, which is a not taking a project management app, uh, which is really taking the world um, in a storm. Uh, we will have any uh, Dundas, who is the EMEA marketing um, leader for Notion. So if you are into marketing, if you are looking at your marketing tech stack, uh, make sure to join. It will be a fascinating session. Guy, Michal, thank you so much. It was a fascinating event and uh, good luck for the sales of uh, ERPC on demand. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone.